it's race day. I'm like super excited. We're at Shell filling up the car. I got my sexy man doing it for me. Let's race. I'm just ready. Let's go. Let's have a great Saturday. Cold ride in. have arrived. It's actually kind of chilly and overcast and breezy, so I brought a little cool t-shirt to put on, and uh, I still am not warm. So we're sitting in the car this morning. Uh, this is what it looks like. All right, guys, just checking out a buddy of mine's Volkswagen open wheel car. Uh, have anybody ever tried to pull off the gravel from a sticky tire? really hard oh I got it all right I'm just out here doing my course walk uh, this is actually my second course walk new course very wide open I uh, got a couple loop-de-loops that are a little new for me so I wanted to run them twice make sure I get a good line on them I'm gonna get to push the Mustang we got a couple of these Chevy Volt sedans out here not just like two-door Volt this is a full sedan <laughs> It's like the quietest racing. <laughs> so I'm about to use this Porta John, but this car is getting squirrely. There's a big Yui. If somebody misses this turn, it hits me in the Porta John. Yeah. Just a little video to see, show you guys. Kind of what the beginning of our course looks like. Big left. John Brooks coming around. Power, power, power. Everybody. I've sat around and watched a whole group go around the course, have a good time. Now it's my turn. Ready to get out there. Crazy high speeds. This is only like a 40 second course for slow cars, so I gotta do it. Well, one and done. I guess I like to go out there and show them how bad I can do, and then I go back and clean it up and show them how good I really couldn't do. Actually, it, it was really clean until I like went sideways through the stop box. Okay, second run was much better, nice and clean, didn't kick the ass out or anything. So uh, I'm now chasing a time of 37.9, so awesome. I just wanted to add on that I've dropped my rear tire pressures from 33 to 31. Uh, 33 is the highest I've ever run, and I just feel like I can't get the power. I feel like I'm on marbles a little bit, so we're down at 31. See how it feels. Okay, third run done. I think that was my third run. I dropped 0.5, so it's 37.4. Uh, I'm gonna mess with my GoPro and check my tire pressures again. Fourth run is done, not as clean. I'm trying to find some later braking zones, and I completely missed the braking zone on that deep left-hander at the beginning of the course. So I took out some cones, but we're gonna clean it up. All right, that run was shit. <laughs> but uh, I'm trying new things, traction control off, left foot braking. I've already got the day series locked on first place trophy. So I'm just out here playing around trying to get a feel of the car at its limits. And when I say that last one was shit, it really was. I ended up in the grass, which is not anywhere near the cones. <laughs> oh, car looks good. I think we're fine. That's why I bought this brand new vehicle. I just got done with my six lap I think uh, time was slower I'm actually trying to clean it up and see what I can do and oh shit that's actually a little confusing I mean I'm not so sure why it was so slow oh I just cannot get that left hand turn at the end of the slalom so My gosh, I get keep pushing it or stopping too soon. It's the most frustrating thing ever. God darn it. Don't cuss. Wish me luck. I'm so mad right now. I took everything really nice and slow, just trying to be really smooth and fluid, and I got back down into some competitive times, and I hit a cone, an inner cone on a sweeping turn. That means I was going too slow. 
I have RF. just eaten Still lunch spring. and watching a group of cars go right Everyone now, and then it'll be, be my a, turn wow, to do some more time runs. Uh, so I'm kind of debating on whether morning. to really Let's clean it up, do. figure out what it's like to drive on shit tires, or to just keep playing out there. I'm ready to do my laps. We're getting seven more laps timed. So that is fantastic. That's a whole lot of boot scoot and boogieing. I can't wait. Uh, I'm a little frustrated trying new stuff, but I guess that's how you get better. Okay, first run after lunch. Uh, feeling more grip than my final run before lunch, and I'm sure that grip's gonna continue to go down through the rest of these runs. Uh, I got my braking good on that deep left-hander, so that feels good. Alright everybody, uh, I think I've done two runs without checking in. So second run was nice and clean, didn't drop any time. Third run was nice and clean and dropped time, so I have pulled out my fastest time. Alright, I rocked a, a nice lap out there. One foot brake, same foot, gas, all that jazzy stuff. Uh, made a good time, so I'm ready to go again. sure if I had a race coach they would be pretty mad that I'm not trying my new skills but it makes me feel really good when I hit all my braking zones get on the throttle correctly and nail a hell of a time so fuck it all right everybody I got really excited I rocked out two pretty fast times again and two more laps so I just got my helmet off I'm ready to chill you want to drive for drive for Highland Sports Club out there go ahead get I totally forgot that I wanted to show you guys my awesome new hat. Uh, yeah, I'm driving my new demon today. Uh, they're going to be delivering it to me in like three hours, and then I'm going to bust them out here. Just kidding. Of course, I wish I was getting a demon. But actually, this is my hat from Audio. I call him Audio Greg, but... Audio GJS on Instagram. I don't know if you can see it, but it has his name on the back. Thanks for him and to his wife Randy for sending us two awesome hats.